I randomly booked a flight to Pakistan today. It's about time I left LA again. I don't know much about Pakistan, it just seems intriguing, although admittedly it's a little nerve-wracking to me. But I can rest assured as I met a guy in couchsurfing today who said I can stay with him during my time. I don't know anything about him, literally nothing, but something tells me he's a friendly soul. It's nice enough that he's letting me stay in his house, but I hope he likes me and wants to hang out. Guess I'll trust my intuition. How can anything go wrong with that? You're Ryan? Yes. Luke. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. This is Ryan. Ra Ryan? Ryan. Ryan. Yes. We met five minutes ago. <laughs> yes. And now I'm getting in your car. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I like it. Ryan happily invited me inside and showed me to the top floor and then to my room. And you did the art? Yes. Really? Yes. yes. In the middle of writing this, he knocked at my door and brought me a piece of cake. Oh. <laughs> That's a big piece of cake. I think we're gonna get along just fine. All right, good night. Well, it is now officially the first day of Pakistan, and I think my plan for today is to figure out what's going on here. What's the vibe? So here's the vibe. Karachi is a wild place. I'm overwhelmed, yet oddly comfortable as well. Karachi, you're crazy, man. What do you think of this? Chaos. <laughs> the streets are filled with organized chaos, with friendly faces, curious about what I'm doing here. This is how you cross the street. Ready? The food, of course, is nothing shy of incredible, and I do love the snacks. Yum! living the dream here in Pakistan. I explored the city all day with Ryan. Speaking of Ryan, I think he's starting to open up to me. Quantum physics. Yes. And as it turns out, this guy is smart. He knows everything about space, and <laughs> boy does he love to talk about it. live on Mars one day. Orbiting around that star, like this other planet. But I feel privileged, and I'm excited to learn from him over the next few days. At the same time, I also advocate for the darkness. Because light is the future. We might have As a you lot can of see, all are around us like through light. A lot of started with starting about astronomy. Then I realized realize why we can't see the stars. So, I might not understand everything that Ryan tells me about space, but I appreciate his passion, and I might have undermined his qualifications just a little. Not only does he hold a master's degree in astrophysics, he also has a day job of teaching kids about space. And Pluto. It's Auto. pretty crazy. His mission is to educate others about the importance of shielding the light and protecting our natural dark night skies. But what I find most ironic, Ryan has never seen a true night sky. You have this passion about the night sky, but you've never seen a true dark in, sky before. Yes, that's because I live in the city of light. I was born here. Only few stars I can see. Yeah, you really can't see much, can you? Karachi, coincidentally, is known as the city of lights, and given the overwhelming light pollution, no one here has the chance to see too far outside the planet itself. So the north of Pakistan, there's no light pollution there. In Pakistan, the only chance to see a true dark sky untouched by human lights is to travel to a dark zone. But it's a journey that requires a train ride, followed by a bus, and then finally a full day mountain hike. Well, I think you can probably guess my next question. Ryan, do you want to come with me to the north of Pakistan to see the stars? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I really about to travel 2,000 kilometers with a guy I met last week just to see the stars? It's a hard yes. Goodbye! Thank you! Let's do it! So we're currently at the train station here in Karachi. We're about to get on a train for 24 hours. Let's go to Islamabad! You can't tell me that this is not a bit. I could live a week on this. Yes. <laughs> Let's stay longer. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so fortunate to be right here right now, alongside someone who appreciates every moment as well. I really had no idea what this trip had in store for me, but I think I'm slowly figuring it out. All I can feel right now is true gratitude. So we've now we're on hour number 18, and so far so good. It's so obvious that the farther up north we go, the greener everything becomes and the more peaceful the atmosphere appears. Yeah? This check is cool. Looking out the window is an ever-changing painting and it's hard to get bored on here. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. I gotta admit, this is definitely not how I expected Pakistan to be. So after 24 hours, we are finally arriving. We're in Islamabad. The vibes are a little different uh, here. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I think it's safe to say there's a distinct vibe difference between Islamabad and Karachi. And there is this overwhelming sense of peace and tranquility here. Even though there's a lot of people and there's still a lot going on. And after spending a week in Karachi and 24 hours on a crazy train, this is exactly what I needed. But the tranquility came to an abrupt halt. The moment we realized... Oh, we forgot about the bus. Go, 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 go! So we're currently in a desperate rush to the bus station. Stressed? Yes. <laughs> if we miss this bus, it will be pretty devastating, to be honest. We will have to wait an entire week to go up north, and we don't have that time. Get your bag. We just got in a car accident. Go, go. Is this it? Yes. We did it! <laughs> that was the most stressful thing of my month. Now it's time for a 24-hour bus ride. And this commences 24 hours on a bus. I expected the bus ride to be a complete breeze, but two hours into the ride, there was a slight roadblock. So unfortunately, there is a landslide happening and the debris is completely covering the road. So long story short, we don't know when we can continue the journey. When do you think we'll be able to continue? Yeah. The entire side of the mountain slid down and completely covered the road. The cliff is hundreds of feet. If he slips... We were advised to wait until the next day for the professionals to come in and clear the road. But our driver had other plans. Oh, it's so close. No, no, no. This is torturous watching this. I can't. And he's actually going to do it. Almost. Almost. Yay. Oh, we made it over the landslide. <laughs> After the dangers of driving a bus along an unpredictable sliding cliff, it was all smooth sailing ahead. Meet my friend Zubair. How are you? Doing well, and you? Good. Thanks Where's for inviting us. Zubair? Thank you. We yeah. made it. Yes. Ryan happened to remember that he had a friend who lived in a tiny remote village nearby called Jamalabad. So cozy. He graciously invited us to stay with him and his family. When was the last time we ate something? Almost 30 hours before. No more I was confused where we were exactly, but I was quickly reminded of true Pakistani hospitality once again. I'm really excited to see exactly where we are in daylight tomorrow because something tells me it's going to be pretty. Look at the mountains. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> yes. Mountains all over. <laughs> I have never experienced something like this. I've seen mountains before, but not like this. I'm experiencing a whole new level of peace that I never knew existed before. I feel so fortunate. Although it's cloudy, I'm imagining the night sky here is impeccable. There's absolutely no light pollution here. To be honest, I'm not sure when we're gonna get a completely clear sky here. But until then, I think we're going to be okay. I think today's the day. Rayon. Yes. I think today's the day. How many clouds do you see? No clouds. This officially was the day we were waiting for. Wait, so you're gonna take us camping? Yeah. You know the way? Yes. After nearly two weeks of waiting for the perfect day, we are more than ready. You look like a boy scout. Bye, thank you. And this is where our journey begins. A long trek to the top of the mountain where we will sleep. Let's go, we are led. Let's go. 
Without any doubt, it was a challenging hike for me, but I could tell it was especially hard for Ryan, who has never really hiked before. Do you get the opportunity to hike in Karachi? Never. <laughs> never. Oh. So on top of the fact that this hike is pretty difficult, we are also well above 4,000 meters over sea level. How we doing? It's all about teamwork. Ah, let's go! It might have taken us twice as long as we expected, but little by little we made it up the mountain. After hours and hours of trekking, it appears that we've come to some sort of village in the middle of the mountains. Come in, come in. Thank you. This is your house? Who is it? My house. Very nice. To our surprise, we were invited by two women who lived in this completely remote and secluded village who offered us tea. Do you expect to be here today? Never in my life, but this is super surprising and I love it. It was a well needed break and we appreciated it so much. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. A la fez. Do you feel accomplished? Yes, yes, yes. You were a trooper. Look at this glacier. <laughs> we are so far, far away from everything, I think. Ryan was ecstatic to be there. He was like a kid, discovering so many new things, so out of his element, but so happy. I'm excited to see the dark sky, finally, for the first time, a complete Milky Way tonight. The sun is setting. Yes, excitement. Every minute that passes, it's getting darker. Duck, duck. <laughs> this was the moment, and we were ready for it. Excitement. Look at that. What would you say to, to people who never really think twice about space and what it means? Uh, space is for all. Uh, we have created borders on this planet Earth, but space is actually for all of us. There is no racism, there is no differences, there is no border. Okay, you ready? Yes. Here it goes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. Yes. We need to understand how we can optimize the use of all these artificial lights around us. We need to protect them and shield the lights. Yes. For the last month here in Pakistan, I've heard Ryan talking about protecting the night sky. And honestly, at first, I didn't really understand the big deal. I mean, I love the stars as well, but why should we protect our sky? Uh, for me, to learn about space and to explore the night sky, created a vision that we are part of this cosmos, like we are part of this cosmic tribe. But I think I'm finally starting to get it all that he stands for. Although it's obvious that nature needs it. Insects, plants, birds. But I think it comes down to something even more personal. Look up and soak it all in. Shield the lights! 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 Shield the lights. Shield the lights.